All right, in this problem up here, it says given that um, LMNO is a kite, right, and angle OLM is 118 degrees, OLM, I'll put that out here, 118 degrees, and the measure of angle LON, LON is 34 degrees, again, I'm gonna put that out here, because there's two parts of that angle. It asks us to find all the other missing angles, okay? All the other missing angles in this kite. So first off, in a kite, the shoulders, if you will, kind of picture this as a person standing up here, the shoulders of a kite are going to be the same. So if this is 118 over here, um, angle N also has to be 118 degrees. All right, besides that, we know that the, so those are the shoulders, kind of the head and the feet, if you will, um, this diagonal cuts those angles exactly in half. So if this is 34, these have to be 17. 34 divided by two is 17 degrees for this one and this one. Those are both 17. Okay, and then if I take, grab a calculator here, we can find this last angle, this top one, by adding 118 times two plus 34, One eighteen times two plus thirty-four. It gives us two hundred and seventy. And total in a um, in a kite or in any quadrilateral for that matter, there are three hundred and sixty degrees. So if I do three hundred and sixty minus two hundred and seventy, that leaves me with ninety. All right. So this top angle up here is going to be ninety degrees. And more than that, just like this bottom one was cut in half, this top one also. For this side, this side, if you cut 90 in half, those are going to be exactly in half. 90 divided by 2 is 45 degrees for each of those, 45 and 45. All right, so we're getting there. We have a lot of our angles done already. However, we still are missing kind of a few here in the middle. So to find those ones, uh, let's see here. What do we know? In a, in a kite, the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. All right, and perpendicular mean that these are all 90 degrees. So if you want, you can put boxes on each of them, or you can say 90 either way, 90 degrees there, there. Maybe I'll put a box on this one, doesn't really matter. Okay, the important part of those are all 90. What else do we know? Well, if I look at the top here, this is gonna be a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Okay, we remember this from our special right triangle chapter. 45 plus 45 plus 90 gives us the 180 for this top triangle. Same idea over here, 45 degrees. All right, then the only other angles we have left are down here and down here, which are also going to be the same because these are both made up with 180, or sorry, 118 degrees. So if I take 118, subtract 45, that gives me 73 degrees for this bottom angle there and this bottom angle here, 73 degrees. Another way you could have found those if maybe you weren't given the top ones is now that we know this is 90 and this was 17, I can do 90 plus 17, uh, which is 107. 107 plus 73 would give me 180 for that bottom triangle. All right, it looks like we have all of our angles accounted for, and so this kite is solved.